Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. Make the fall great again. Even hot choked up down the beach there a little bit. Even Hutch hooked up. Did you hear that in that video from Alex Condis? Even Hutch hooked up. Yeah, blind squirrel, I guess. Not exactly a ringing endorsement, although Alex did outfish me on Monday in the surf about 20 to 1, so figure that out. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine here at Jersey Hookers, Jersey Hooker Outfitters, Route 88 in Brick, here in front of the uh, new selection of New Seven Apparel. It's a Canadian firm, a lot of great... Uh, offshore, inshore, you're fighting some of those nasty elements. Come in here and check out the sieving stuff if you're up for new oil skins and some foul weather gear. We stopped in here and found out what everybody's talking about. Sand eels in the surf, lots of stripers in the mix as well. And that's all the way from Sandy Hook all the way down to Island Beach State Park. There's no element of spot burning here. It's just a matter of being in the right place at the right time. But there are several stretches where there's just tons of sand eels. Hopefully, this fishery, this in, in, intense action uh, with mo mainly smaller stripers in the wash will continue south past Barnegat Inlet. You folks that are fishing in that LBI Surf Derby, hopefully you get them all the way into Atlantic and Cape May County in the surf as well. But it should be a good holiday weekend uh, coming up. Of course, we're a day early with Thanksgiving, but we've got that Thanksgiving holiday. I think back several years, what was it, 2016, the Thanksgiving massacre of that year where bass were pinning, bunker in along the beaches. Hopefully we see more of those peanuts, but right now I'm standing right where the avas and the tins are being sold. A couple of people have already stopped in to pick them up, but it's definitely a matter of matching the hatch with those sand eels up and down the beaches. The avas, the tsunamis, savage eels, super strikes. Whether you're on a simple dropper, uh, dropper rig, you know, you're tying a dropper in there so you can put on your own teaser, or if you can stop by Jersey Hookers. They've tied up a bunch of sand eel teasers as well. So wherever you find those tins, some folks are grabbing the green tail, some the black tail, some the white, but that has definitely been the way to go. Again, Monmouth and all of Ocean County we hope to find the same thing in Southern Ocean County down along Long Beach Island. Getting some of the reports this week, we do find there are some small fish, though, uh, piling on some of those sand eels. Now, on the troll north of Barnegat, spoons and mojos for 20-pound class stripers still. I know fish, uh, fishing with guys like Chris Wochuk of Philly. We fished together on Saturday, went out for a meat trip for our Thanksgiving holiday. We limited out four fish, four guys in about 45 minutes. And that was just off Ortley Beach on those spoons. Now what I'm finding out is some folks are going for some of those bigger fish with the spoons. Others are doing the umbrella rigs and the Niners rigs. Those sand deals are thick offshore as well. So a lot of the smaller fish on some of those umbrella rigs, but those fish are there. It's time to hunt for the keepers as well on the line in Atlantic and Cape May County as well. The Tariq boys, as a matter of fact, checked in over the weekend with the folks at Sea Isle Bait and Tackle couple of good fish there. In years past, we've usually found those big stripers along the Cape May County coast inside the line in December into January. Not a lot of folks target those fish because a lot of folks pull their boats. But I know the Delaware fleet too will come up from Lewis and Indian River to get in on that troll bite off of Cape May County. Hopefully that's going on too this weekend as you get out there. I know from Andy at Riptide Bait and Tackle in Brigantine, he had that Elks tournament over the weekend. Despite the rough weather, they had 26 boats and 18 surf anglers. And in the boat division, the winner was natural gas with a two fish total, 58 pounds, five ounces. So obviously there's some big fish in there someplace around Wreck Inlet, down a little bit south. Folks from Endurance came in second with two fish at 36 pounds total. Two Toms was in third with 35 pounds. Now the surf division had not weighed in any legal fish. So the folks there, they had voted to give all the prize money from the surf back to the Brigantine Elks veterans. Andy, he tells me natural gas and Endurance also donated back several hundred dollars worth of their winnings, $2,000 raised for that Brigantine Elks Veterans Fund. Now, I would expect some more stripers along the beaches of Brigantine, Atlantic City, all the way down into Cape May County as well. It's just a matter of putting in some more of your time. Quite a few boats running this Thanksgiving weekend. As a matter of fact, quite a few boats are running half day, special quick runs on Thanksgiving morning. You can get out there for a half day, get up first thing in the morning and be back before anybody knows you're gone as long as you've got the turkey in the oven at that time. A lot of green crabs 
Going like mad for this tog bite. Uh, we've got that five fish bag limit back in New Jersey. Weather has kept a lot of folks in port, but let's hope in the next couple of days, a nice weather window is there for the taking. Here at Jersey Hooker Outfitters, they say they got green crabs all the time. If you need white leggers, give a call, order those white leggers. The other thing I've heard from several people, in fact, tournament winners over the weekend in that first annual tog tournament out of Manasquan, Dante Sorrente and the boys, uh, got on them with the magic tail. So the jig bite is definitely hot and heavy for guys looking for tog on those inshore wrecks. A lot heading in, um, heading out Friday uh, through Sunday as well. If you're looking for a head boat, a party boat heading out on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, depending on the weather, you got your black sea bass, ling, a couple of cod in the mix as well, also those porgies. It's a great weekend. Of course, you've got family in from all over the place. You gather, uh, Go gather along the rail. It's a great opportunity for you to get out with some close friends and family and fish along the rail, along those party boats. If you want some updated reports to figure out who's sailing this weekend and what the sailing schedules are, go to the weekly reports section of thefisherman.com. You select the New Jersey map, and then from the New Jersey map, you can go north, central, south, all the way down into Delaware. Find out which of the boats are sailing, how they've been doing in the last week or two, and also what their schedule is going to be for Thanksgiving, Friday, all the way through Sunday as well. For a view of what's going on out west, let's check in with George, the Pocono Outdoors guy. Well, hey, thanks, Jim. You know, things have certainly been a little slow around here this week. Um, I think most of the guys in these parts are focusing on getting out in the woods. Opening day of deer season is coming up. But a couple of guys are still out, the diehards catching fish. Good old Eric Goodstall still out slaying brown trout. He's on a really good bite here. But the lake has fully turned over now, and we're definitely on that cold water bite. That means the water down about 20 feet is much warmer than the surface temperature. So you got to get on that cold water pattern, stay out a little bit deeper, get those smallmouth, those walleye. All those fish are stacked up on structure in deeper water. Now, I want to wish everybody a really happy Thanksgiving. And whether you're heading into the woods or on the water this weekend, be safe. Enjoy your holiday. From Pennsylvania, I'm George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. Because our forecast is a day early this week because of the Thanksgiving holiday, all I can tell you about the weekend forecast I learned from NOAA Marine Weather early in the week. And things are lining up nicely for Thanksgiving. As a matter of fact, if you can get away from the house for a few hours, we've got some gusting northwest winds forecast, which means it's going to be at your back. If you want to get out, hit the surf, see if you can't get in on some of that sand eel bite. There's going to be a heavy swell, but that offshore wind should flatten it out. Should be a good time to get out there with those conditions in the surf on Thursday. Now on the freshwater front, we found out from the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife, they've stocked 20 different lakes and ponds with 4,800 rainbow trout this week. So you've got that option. If you've got that trout stamp, you've got your freshwater license, you can go into the November edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Hopefully you still have it lying around someplace. But Tom Pagliaroli had a great article, lines up all of those lakes and ponds that are receiving um, fall stocking of the trout. Uh, for this weekend ahead, it is a great opportunity. Of course, the December edition of the Fisherman Magazine is out on newsstands now. It's in your home as a subscriber. I know you subscribe to the magazine. We have our holiday gift guide and, of course, details on our striper tagging effort. The first week of sales, those $10 donations for that release, rebuild, and reduce decal from the Fisherman Magazine, hot and heavy, $10 donation to the satellite tagging effort, you could get that decal. It'll make a nice little gift for somebody this holiday season. My favorite holiday of the year is this weekend. It's all about feasting, family, giving thanks, a little bit of football, and hopefully some fishing in there as well. God bless. Enjoy the Thanksgiving. We'll see you again next week right here at thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude Lowrance Grand Prize Boat Package and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.